Ladies and gentlemen, we have a challenge on this channel sent over by the lovely guys at Camera Centre UK and Stuart sent me this voice note. Dan, thank you for coming to the podcast the other day and I thought it might be interesting for you to have a little bit of a challenge. We talked about film, so what I've decided to do is arrange for you to have this 1DRS. Now this is a really old camera and it's probably seen quite a bit. However, this camera does work with pretty much all of your EF lenses, so it's going to be interesting to see what kind of photos you get out of it. Inside of this package, you'll have a 400 ASA film. This is what you would equivalently shoot at 400 ISO. When it comes to shooting film, you are pretty much set at whatever film that you've got inside. You cannot change the ASA value unless you put a new film in there. The camera itself does shoot on drive mode, so it will go through a lot of film if you're not careful with it. However, you've got 36 shots, 72 overall, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. If you have any questions, make sure just to message me and I'll help you through the camera. Have a good day. We love a challenge, and I've never used film before. So this is actually gonna be one of the most interesting things for me and for you guys, I hope, because this is just opening new doors. And in actual fact, we've got something really good coming up soon. I'm actually going to solve some classic cars, and I know that's when I'm gonna use my first roll of film out of two. Just in these glasses. Now, if you've actually watched the podcast, we spoke about Oppenheimer, and I was recently at Creamfields having a good time, and these glasses just had to be. I just feel like they've got pure Oppenheimer vibes. So with that being said, let's get on with the video. Okay, so here we are, we've arrived at the Silverstone Race Circuit, the home of British motorsport, one of my favorite places to visit. We come here very often for the Grand Prix, and today we're here for the classic car event. Now this has been the perfect time to obviously try out the Canon EOS that we have been handed by Camera Centre UK. This is definitely going to be a big test for me. I've loaded the film up in the camera and it's ready to go. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a perfect example of trying to sort of get some unique value photos of some old sort of cars and sort of mirror mirroring that vibe with film and sort of classical cars and racing and, and other photos that my uncle actually showed me that's inspired me uh, to start getting to think about film actually. And obviously back in them days, they'd be able to get closer to the circuits and stuff. So today we're gonna to be able to actually be going out and doing and testing some film onto things and I don't know how it's gonna go, so let's go. My family have a long history of love for motorsport and Formula One, none other than my uncle Phil, who has watched from the sidelines for more than 40 years now. He showed me some photos he captured on film from the 1960s Monaco Grand Prix and more. Seeing these images gives you just a sense of traveling through time, you're closer to the circuit, things like the sponsors of a generation's past. I have followed the sport and have some fond memories of watching Lewis Hamilton racing and photographing them in the wet last year at Silverstone, which got me pumped to see some classic cars flying around the track while I had a film camera in hand. This was no small feat, mind, as I tried and tried to capture that moment as they sped by not knowing if I had got the shot. The anticipation of waiting for the rolls back and seeing my hard work had paid off even more with just one image. All right. So that is the day done. Um, it's been an actually challenging one, and one that is quite eye-opening. The camera itself has been really actually quite familiar to me. The ergonomics is very similar to the 5D Mark IV that I've previously obviously owned. So if we felt a bit familiar, just need to find out where new buttons were. But yeah, I used uh, the 100 400 for most of the day, mainly because I want to punch in, get into the track, getting close to the cars. Um, it's a little bit sharp as well, being f4 to 5.6, so I can sort of count that depth of field, maybe getting that focus point a bit better. Um, I did switch between marking the autofocus, then turning it to manual, so I knew every time I panned to get a shot, 
uh, it was going to be a focus. So we'll see. Guess you get you get so nervous knowing that the film is in there and that you don't know how they've come out. I did actually spot the um, the uh, exposure meter on the side in the viewfinder, um, like. 10 shots in so after I realized that it was there the first 10 shots might actually be a little different but then hopefully after that but yeah light's been really good as well quite dynamic and challenging it was overcast to start off with and the sun was coming out um, so there's a whole bucket of things that have been going on today and I'm really actually excited to see some of these photos I hope I've got some nice classic shots so yeah and the next 32 sorry 35 shots are to be loaded in the camera for next weekend where we're going to do something this is a bit more familiar to me which is landscapes portraits and adventure <laughs> so here we are second adventure and like always there's just been some hiccups along the road so originally we were meant to go down to south wales but they cancelled on us this morning so when you had everything planned from where you was going to visit, what you were going to shoot, because the location is basically a really nice like yurt hut uh, and it was on a farm and it looked really nice. So we've had to try and scrounge around the UK looking for somewhere and we have found somewhere and now we are in Herefordshire. Herefordshire? 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 <laughs> Hereford. Uh, in another shire, I love myself a shire. It's beautiful out here. It's still got farms, we've still got a year, we've still got the evening, I've got loads of different things planned and what I want to shoot as well. But also we get to go to the historical town and architecture could be a really good thing to shoot there too. So let's just enjoy the weekend and have a, a nice time. So I thought I'd come home for the rest of this one, bring you guys back into the office, uh, because actually what I found with the film camera is that it's been a personal journey. It actually taught me to slow down in multiple different ways by using the camera, but also in life. And I know that's as mad as it sounds and you're thinking how and why, but with everything that I've been going, having going on in my life, uh, and the passing of Zeus earlier on this year, it actually made me appreciate my whole journey in six years of in photography and also, just to be able to reflect and look back on things. And one of the images from Silverstone Classic Cars that actually I'm really happy with um, isn't necessarily the most technically sound or impressive photo, but it's the one I started to notice where I slowed down and thought about my composition. And that was when I took this photo. So this image is an image that when I was in the grandstands, I looked over the side and I saw these two really nice cars that I hadn't seen before. And there was a few, you know, wealthy people appreciating these cars. And I thought, wow, look at that, you know. And, and the angle that I was at, it actually gave it a really nice aesthetic to the way they lined it up. But I was walking up and down the stairs, looking for the right composition and getting it where I wanted it. And that's that's where I started to notice the change within how I was using this camera. Um, that, along with then the next part of the reel was I kept on putting off them weekends I was like oh, next weekend I'm going to do something else next weekend I'm going to do something else so I kept on saving a few shots in the magazine and I was like okay there was the final weekend where we were going to say goodbye to Zeus we had a, a big get together with all the other photographers and we went down side to the beach uh, in Morpha and we said our goodbyes and with that there was a fire and we're taking Zeus's urn and now this is where these photos have become more personal to me. I have started editing these ones as well because um, I wanted to now play around with the images um, as you'll see in a minute. With some of the photos, the tint is a little bit more stronger on some of the street images, but with this image here, it's so personal, so raw, that I'm happy that I have a, a film camera to photograph this on. So there's, without the other, you can see there's quite a lot of uh, uh, pink and purple in this with regards to the tint so that's just taking it away a little bit I've removed some of the blues and stuff but now this image here if I take it on a digital camera I don't know whether it'd be a special because there's only one of these images 
And then the rest of the shots were the ones down by uh, the beach. And the famous nose focus that anybody who's taken photos of dogs will know sometimes that focus just hunts to the front. And uh, <laughs> you know, as you can tell here, it's just right on his nose. And it's a beautiful clean shot and I just love it. There's so much emotion involved in his face. I love all the dirt marks and scratches. And again, the edits, just nice. It's sort of my colours in there and Balix in those nice uh, warm oranges on his uh, coat. And then this one again. I don't know, there's just something so, it just speaks more volumes maybe because it's personal and personal to me. And I think that's where ultimately I got my guidance and direction and where now it's, you know, taking me to appreciate maybe some of the things that photography had disappeared from myself anyway. Uh, and it's made me appreciate what I'm going to do next with my digital camera when I'm out photographing and shooting wherever I am. Um, you know, not just to run and gun some of the times or just go, oh, I'm not going to shoot at all because I have the option to do so. Whereas this, you know, I had a challenge. It was go and take some photos, fill these real sort of photos um, and see what you can create. And then with that, I've created a whole range of different images. So yeah, with that being said, thank you guys over at Camera Center UK. If anyone is looking for cameras, film cameras, lenses, bags, tripod, anything, um, hit these guys up. They're a great bunch of people, and if you have any questions or queries, I'm sure they'll be happy to help you. Stuart, you're an absolute legend. And guys, I think that this video deserves a like and a subscribe. Can I also ask as well, leave your comments down below about what you thought about some of the photos. Have you been using film yourself? Are you thinking about using film? And with that being said, that's the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.